Gre greetings, this is Dragon Barrow's Wrestle Talk. Over the past few months, I've seen Jinder Mahal go from a total jobber to automatically becoming a the modern day Maharaja. As you know, as I've made mention on several videos, that I am part Indian. At first, I was, you know, so, you know, going, yep, you, you know, you beauty, congratulations, gender, you, you, you earned it. But now, on, I am doing some, some more thinking on this topic. And I honestly believe that Jinder Mahal, that gimmick, I'm not saying that his accomplishments are a, a negative, you know, good on him. Being the first uh, Indian, a, in, a, a person with an Indian background, becoming a WWE World Champion. Not to take away the great Kali. The Great Khali's uh, accomplishments, but since the Great Khali, congratulations! You earned, you've paid your dues. Now you're the champion. Congratulations on you. But my problem is the whole Maharaja, the modern day Maharaja, wearing like the whole suits and ties and whatnot, the whole turban thing. It is ridiculous. You are born in Canada. Shocking as it may seem. Try to own a bit of your Canadian heritage. You can say, my, you can, this is what I would actually book, how I would actually book Jinnah Mahal. I would literally just, just wipe out that whole body rap crap music strip away this baloney and this fallacious modern day Maharaja there have been modern day Maharajas in the indie circuits up and down the North American continent. There's been modern day Maharajas in the European wrestling circuits. And there have been, and I have seen three in the Australian independent wrestling circuits. Not counting Indian, uh, uh, Indians who live in New Zealand. That's not come over, and that's been two of them. So, technically, the modern day Maharaja is not exactly, it's actually become like the stereotypical Indian, like Indian driving a taxi cab, or even what are you about to being the 7 Eleven type? It's actually become too much of a Fast and everything, even having <clears throat> the Sing Brothers. How many damn Sings can there be in professional wrestling? Is in name. Honestly, it's like Tiger Ali Sing, Bollywood Sing. I know the Great Khali doesn't count, but still. His last name is Singh. So there's Singhs with real last names and Singhs as in stage last names. How uneducated is the WWE? It just blows my brain to go, what the hell are they doing? They could have had Jinder Mahal come down to the ring being saying 
I am a proud son, grandson or a proud son of an immigrant from India. My grandparents, or my parents, my, from my grandparents to my parents, have installed upon me a hard working ethics. The reason why I don't sound like a poor from the bloody Simpsons is because I was born and raised in North America. I don't need some bullshit Indian gimmick to get me over. My grandparents, my parents have already fought the hard yards for me. Now it's my turn to pay them back. I, I am I am a proud Mahal. I come from the long line of Mahal men. But that's as far as I am willing to go with my Indian heritage. I'm not going to stink up my my background anymore because of what you the Western audience wants you think all of us are taxi you, you, all of us you think of us as those call center people that annoy you before you have your dinner you guys think we're the cab driver type where we just sit on our backsides drive around you stinking backsides all day. You think we're the the Apus and the Seven Eleven types that get shot by insert insert uh, ethnic background here. You think we're some poor scum, as you'd seen in a Slumdog Millionaire, or do you think that we are so stupid? When it comes to real world events that we dance all the all the damn time. Not all us not us not your world of of the of the Indian knowledge, I'm gonna blow that away. Yes, I have an Indian heritage. Yes, my background is of Indian. Yes, my parents and my grandparents have worked so damn hard to get to get me to where I am today. But I'm not going to go down that route. The same damn route as all these gimmick loving wrestlers before me. Great Kali, I appreciate what you've done. You've shown that India is a is a mighty and powerful nation. Now I'm going to take over. And I'm going to show you what the modern day India man is. And that I would actually cut that. If I was to book Jinder Mahal, I would book that. Have him come down to some Western music. Oh no. Jindam Hal Western music? That doesn't look too gimmicky, doesn't look too Indian. That's what I'm going for, you jackanoles. He doesn't need to rely on this Indian gimmick to prove that he's Indian. Hell, I don't have to go on every single one of my videos and go now listen here, we are going to be discussing point A, point B, point C with little paragraphs of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and maybe a little bit of 10. You see, I don't do that to prove my, to say, my Indian heritage. I am proud of what my father had accomplished being an immigrant. I'm a son of an immigrant. I'm a proud son of an immigrant. And also a proud grandson of an immigrant. Of two immigrants. I'm talking about my father and his parents. 
but yet I speak more with an Australian accent is because I grew up in Australia. See what I'm talking about. Jinder Mahal grew up in Canada. Most probably be born in Canada. He does not have to rely on this Indian gimmick crap anymore. I would ditch the Singh brothers. I'll send them to NXT and have them uh, work on them as a tag team. I'll if they I was if they if if so be want to be called the Singh brothers. Fine, but I will not have them rely too heavily on this whole Indian gimmick being friends with Jinder Mahal because of some great grandparents connections it's absolutely bogus I would have them come down to the ring with more of a bit more of a high pace sort of music they're light and they know how to fight I would have a bit more of a gothic cathedral-esque music for Jinder but well, the simple reason is he's big and he's powerful and he's foreboding the great Kali I would have I would have him, I would have the music booked like some sort of resonating heavy metal with a lot of bass because with a, with a bass going doof 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 that's like the great Kali walking it's like one step doof another step doof third step doof you just need to rethink what an immigrant or what a second or third generation person who from a some from from a sea point being a, a person who immigrated here which I'm a proud grand grandson and son of spread out who knows maybe Jinder Mahal could have a different interests he could come down in R&B attire he could come down be a bit more of a businessman he could do anything but just drop the Indian gimmick as a son and grandson of immigrants it drives me nuts. First thing I hear the Indian music, I'm like, okay, <clears throat> whose crew is going to get butchered this time? That's how I feel now. I feel the same thing. Back in the day, when I was young and didn't know any better, I would have said, oh, yay! My dad side becoming becoming like a champion. Yay! But now since I'm no better, I've seen what my grandfather went through. I've seen what my father went through. Both proud immigrants to my country of my country of birth, Australia. They had to work hard. Nothing was given to them. I'm proud of that. But it's just all of this WWE off the boat bullshit that gets me absolutely frustrated. I, as a friend of mine, her grandmother said this. Fijian, Anglo, or straight up Indian. We are all Indian. <laughs> Who cares if you go if you move to Australia? You're still Indian. Who cares if you move to the USA? 
or Canada or UK or New Zealand, you still have Indian roots. Be proud of them roots. But move forward. Grow. Learn from the culture you are a part of. And become tough. Become the new India. But not forgetting where you come from. Those are wise words that have stuck with me for a long, long time now. And, on, and just to finish off, Jindam Hal, I love what you do in the ring. It's about time that you st <coughs> that you start thinking like a Canadian, not as an Indian. I love you and I respect you as a as a son and grandson of of immigrants. Time for you to be the same. See ya.